Hey Capricorn, welcome to your reading for the first half of April, the 1st to the 15th. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Um, yeah, I don't really have anything else to say right now, so let's just get into it, shall we? Spirit, please make me a clear channel for all Capricorns, sun, moon, and rising. Please bring forward the best messages for Capricorn during this period of April 1st to the 15th. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, so this is for all sun, moon, and rising signs, and it is a general reading. So please remember to take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn. Okay, one more shuffle for you, Capricorn, and then we will cut the deck. go. All right, we're starting with the Five of Swords. So, conflict. Um, what I'm picking up for you, Capricorn, and this is this is a lot of um, self-defeating energy, um, self-deprecation, which unfortunately is something that, that Capricorns can fall into fairly easily. Um, they get very self-conscious and, and they doubt themselves and um, they just get wrapped up in their own heads about something. And they can even like lash out at people because of it, but it's not because that other person has done anything wrong per se. It's more that, you know, the Capricorn is in just a, a really not so good place. So, you know, sometimes they take it out on others. Um, I am picking up that there's, there's some sort of fighting, like competition going on, like it could be internal, um, but I'm also picking up that this is a competition with somebody else. It's like a pissing fight, almost, <laughs> to excuse my language. Yeah, look, five of pentacles, the fool, but also the sun, okay? So the first thing I'm picking up with the sun is that all of this self-deprecating energy that's going on here for you, if you're resonating with that, I mean, it's okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm hearing it's to be expected to a certain extent, so don't get too upset about it. Um, so we do have two fives here. Fives, we have the five of swords and we have the five of pentacles. And this, um, to me, is speaking to changes, shifts, especially when it comes to the fool being added into it. Um, some of this fighting may, this fighting or even this, um, this, this competitive energy, um, yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm trying to finish the phrase that I'm saying, but I'm getting something through. With this Five of Swords, in some situations, I'm just seeing like total foolish meathead behavior, like not even, not even close to logical, just like straight up vibrato and um, uh, uh, bullheaded and... Um, Roid rage <laughs> is the type of energy that's coming to mind. Um, and it's all ego-based. It's all um, pride-based. And that's a lot of where the fool energy is coming from in this situation. Um, it's just like blindly running into something with all this raw and, and not really... Um, not really thinking it through. Not really being like, okay, wait, is it really worth this right now? Like, what am I doing? Um, I, that either could be you, Capricorn, or it could be somebody else in your life. But also, with the Five of Pentacles here, someone's feeling lack. Someone's feeling less than. And someone's feeling kind of out in the cold. But what I'm picking up here for you, Capricorn, you are the one leaving yourself out in the cold, uh, in a sense, because you're so wrapped up in um, being self-conscious and feeling bad about yourself for some reason. But again, we have the sun with all with all of this icky stuff that's going on right now. And this is just your overall energy. We haven't even gotten into the storyline yet. But with all of this going on, we have the sun. Okay, now, this is one of the best cards in the deck. All right? Um, but in some cases, what I'm picking up here, the sun is also speaking to this five of swords energy has a lot to do with narcissism. All right? And that makes perfect sense because that's kind of the energy that I'm picking up here. It's like someone is so wrapped up in their own pride and their own ego that they can't see the forest for the trees. 
in, in many cases. Okay, so let's get into your storyline now, Capricorn. We have to start the Ace of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups. All right, this feels better already. Um, so what I'm picking up here is there's... There's a new start, um, a new start to a financial situation. And the first thing I, I saw when I picked up the Ace of Pentacles was a new job. Um, and this is this is emotionally, this is intuitively guided. Okay, this is something that you've been really working on. You've been really working on trying to um, trying to figure out what is going to be most fulfilling for you, and you really successfully cre uh, created a strong connection with your intuition, um, with the flow of the universe, and that's allowing you to manifest this new beginning. Now, I am picking up that this new beginning associated with the Ace of Pentacles is a lot of the reason why we have this ego battle going on. Because someone is feeling, uh, someone is feeling left out in the cold in that you, you Capricorn, are wanting to move away from a certain situation, like say if it's a job, you want to leave this job and find a new one, and this other person ain't having it. They're like, nah, how, how you gonna do me like that? Blah blah. But when it's really not even, it's not even personal. It's just like, look, this just doesn't work for me. Can I? Can you just like chill and let me let me move on, please? I really need to move on. Um, 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 there was something else connected with that that I, now it's it's slipped my mind. So maybe it'll come back later. But. Um, Oh, well that, and that's what the, and, and so also with the, so that's, that's the five of swords. And then also the five of pentacles is you cap in this situation. If you're resonating with this part of it, it's you feeling like you're left out in the cold. Like whatever this situation is, I really am picking up. It's for a lot of you, it's a business situation. It's a job, but for whatever this situation is, you feel lack. You don't feel appreciated. You don't feel like you're um, being a productive person team member, even though you're doing the work, you know, it's not like you're slacking off, you're doing the work, but it's number one, it's unfulfilling. And number two, you're not getting the recognition that you deserve. Um, because of all of this ego going on here, because of all of this narcissism and vibrato and blah, blah, blah. And so ultimately, that again, or that is bringing the fool into the situation in you wanting to step out and move on. Next, we have the 10 of cups. Oh, that's nice with the Four of Wands. Very interesting. So um, what I'm picking up for you here, Capricorn, is you are very solid. Um, you're very, you're, you're, you, okay, with the Four of Wands, this is telling me that you have a very good and deep connection with yourself, with spirit. Um, and that is helping you come to terms with the fact that whatever this situation you're trying to leave, move away from, um, is, uh, oh, is um, is divinely guided, is, is guided by your higher self. Excuse me, sorry, I lost my train of thought there. Um, 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 so, and then, so with the 10 of cups here, it's also saying that you are, you are connecting, you're actively connecting with whatever um, would be most fulfilling to you, whatever would bring you this 10 of cups energy. So uh, whether that be love, romance, um, you know, even if it's a job, because jobs can be, work can be extremely fulfilling, especially if it's been uh, divinely guided for you, because then when you know, you know, when you're being guided from within towards something, you know, that you've been trying to manifest instead of from without, that guidance from within um, is leading you to something that ultimately would be like the very best thing for you at this moment in your life, okay? So you have a very good, stable, solid um, connection with yourself and with the divine at this time, which is helping you achieve the 10 of cups in whatever way that manifests for you or whatever the way that looks for you. It's also this connection that you have with spirit is giving you perspective into all of this mess that's going on up here, all this vibrato and all that shit. Ugh. <laughs> that is like the ultimate. What I'm picking up from the Five of Swords right now is the ultimate man representation of twisted masculine and feminine energy. Um, in this case, it's mostly masculine energy. That's that's the uh, aggressor here. But yeah, for, yeah. <laughs> okay, let's move forward. We have all oh, the lovers with the Nine of Swords. Well, I, I didn't expect to see that. <laughs> but um, 
So the first thing I'm picking up here with the lovers is that there is um, a connection. Like I was saying before with the Four of Wands, there is a very strong and deep connection here. And um, this is within yourself for this part of the message. This is within yourself that I'm referring to. And because of that, it's causing you to see things as they truly are. And so then the Nine of Swords energy is popping up. And this is where the self-deprecation is coming from. Because you're realizing that you may have made some, some choices, some decisions in the past that have put you in obviously have led you to where you are now. And um, it's almost like it's haunting you. It's causing you anxiety. It's causing you to slip into depression, to have trouble sleeping. Um, it's causing you to, if you're, if it's not, well, it's causing you to have nightmares even, but it doesn't even have to be at night. It could be just flashes in front of your face, uh, in, in front of your eyes while you're, you know, up and about during your day of like these terrible scenarios here, five of swords, these awful, aggressive, mean, um, abusive scenarios just flaring up all around you. And it's, it's frustrating, but understand that you are still connected, okay? So at any moment, you can ask your higher self, you can ask the divine to help you out, to like really like take the reins here and help me clean up all of this negative, negative energy I'm experiencing. Yeah, moving forward, we have the King of Wands. It is in reverse, and the Moon. All right, so I don't normally read reversals, but this one is very fitting. This King of Wands in reverse is speaking to this aggressor, is speaking to um, uh, whatever, whatever, I just heard it, so I'll say it, masculine energy that is um, going on, that is in your life right now, that is causing all of this pain and turmoil. And with the moon here, I'm... I'm I'm really picking up that you're being guided to really listen to your intuition here because everything is not as it seems. I mean, this person may be super, super aggressive and angry, but it's almost like the universe is asking you to have some compassion for this person. And I know I just felt it. A lot of you are like, excuse me, what? And it's like, well, yeah, but you guys, you have to understand that nobody, um, nobody comes from this place. Nobody acts like someone else or acts like this towards someone else without a reason. And it's not necessarily just that they're a bad person. I don't really believe that anyone is born a bad person. Um, I believe at our core, we are all very good, very good, loving and compassionate people. But life circumstances can really fuck shit up for us sometimes. Um, and that's that's kind of what's going on here. There really, there really isn't too much go, coming through with this set of cards here, the King of Wands in reverse and the moon. All the, all the Spirit's really saying right now is, look, don't take it personally because it's not what it seems, okay? Yes, let's just move on. We have the Princess of Cups, right under the Queen of Cups, with the Prince of Wands. So we've got the Knight of, the, I'm sorry, the Page of Cups and the Knight of Wands, okay? Um, so what's going on here? Uh, it's interesting because I'm looking at these two separately because I feel like they're two separate people. I honestly, I feel like you are the, the princess or the page of cups, um, Capricorn. And this other person, this other, other person, this other person is representing the knight of wands or the prince of wands. And this is the aggressor in this situation. This is asking you to, to really, really move away. I really want, when it comes to the, the, the Prince of Wands down here, I really want to protect this Princess of Cups. I really feel like um, she's under attack somehow and she needs to be protected. She needs to be shielded from whatever this awfully aggressive energy is with the Prince of Wands. The good thing, the good thing about the Prince of Wands is that, um, you know, this energy tends to be extremely fast moving and burn out very quickly. So, um, what I'm getting here is the Prince of Wands is more, is more a, the situation rather than the person. And you actually are the Princess of Cups. And in this situation, uh, um, the, the universe or spirit is asking you to really do the best you can to to protect yourself and shield yourself through this. 
I mean, don't, you don't have to like, I'm not saying to like fear for your life or anything, but um, you will have a much easier time transitioning out of this if you really work on shielding yourself energetically, okay? Um, not necessarily physically, but like energetically because because uh, wands are is spirit, uh, uh, water, cups is like emotions, feelings. So um, I feel like with the, the Knight of Wands is coming through as like a, a energetic or spiritual attack in some senses. Um, so yeah, the message here is just to really work on protecting yourself throughout this. Okay. Really, really do some daily meditation, daily yoga, uh, visualizations of shielding yourself, um, energetic shielding. Like you can visualize yourself um, being surrounded by divine white light. Um, you can surround yourself with in like there, I had this one technique that I used to do where I would shield myself in like a big mirror ball like it was just one solid uh complete piece of like mirroring material that would bounce back any sort of negative energy away from me like if if something or someone was sending me a negative energy doing like attacking me energetically that energy would be reflected back to them instead of um inflicting me you could do that there are plenty of ways you can um protect yourself. I mean, go on Google, go on YouTube and you, there are tons of ways that you can energetically shield yourself, but that really needs to happen. And actually the queen of cups here is asking that of you because the queen of cups is helping you to manifest whatever it is you're trying to get to next. So she's saying in order to really do this, you must, must shield yourself. Okay. But understand that this, this situation isn't going to last forever. Remember, the, the Prince of Wands or the Knight of Wands can burn out very quickly. So be patient with yourself is what she just said. Be patient with the situation and just remember to protect yourself. Next, we have the Hierophant with the Two of Swords. Now see, here's the thing. Right under the Ten of Cups and the Four of Wands, in which I was saying to you, you have a very solid connection with spirit and your higher self. Here we have the Hierophant. Yeah. There you go. There's that confirmation. You are connected to your inner guru. You are connected to your higher self. You are actively listening. But here's the catch. Because you're actively listening, now you're in kind of a two of swords state. This, I really like this depiction of the two of swords better than anyone I've ever seen. Because in this one, this man is playing a board game and he's contemplating what his next moves are. You know, he's not blindfolded. Um, I'm trying to see, you, you you guys won't be able to see it, but his eyes are in fact open. Um, you know, he's got his two swords behind him, shielding him from behind while he decides how to make his next move. So this for me is saying to you, Capricorn, that you are, um, you are really in communication, very deep communication with your higher self and working out a plan of action to move forward, okay? So again, this is mostly just confirmation that you do have this connection. And you might feel stuck, you might. You might feel like you're in between a rock and a hard place, especially with all of this fighting that's going on. Um, you do feel stuck, you do feel, again, like a rock and a hard, like you're between a rock and a hard place, but it's okay because you still have that connection with your higher self that will help guide you throughout this, okay? But again, please remember to shield yourself, yeah? Next, we have the Ace of Swords with the Five of Wands. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we've got three fives here and also four fives. Why? Because the Hierophant is number five. So there is definitely changes, but there are also challenges. We knew that already. But the Ace of Swords here. The Ace of Swords is talking about um, inspiration, that aha moment, that epiphany mo moment, right? And it has come to you, Capricorn, because of all of this chaos with the Five of Wands here. It's like um, too many cooks in the kitchen. And, at, and you got to a point, Capricorn, where you were like, okay, enough is enough. Or, okay, I see what's going on here. Um, and you're not having it. And let me tell you, man, I am, I am resonating with that. Like I'm not a Capricorn, but I am an earth sign. I have, I'm a Taurus sun and a Virgo rising and chaos just doesn't do it for us. Nope. 
especially not in a business sense. This is very much a business reading for you, Cap Capricorn, but especially not in the business sense. Yo, of all places to have dysfunction and chaos, your job is not one of them. So all of this dysfunction and chaos has really been illuminated for you recently, and that has started, kickstarted this whole thing that we have with manifesting a brand new uh, material start. Now, again, this is a general reading, guys, so please take what resonates with you and, and leave what doesn't. This does not have to be work-related. That's just the biggest chunk of the energy that I'm picking up here. This could be love-related. This could be also, this also could be a family situation. Like, family members are having a power struggle over something. Um, I am picking up for some people, or maybe just one person, there is um, a power struggle over an estate. Ugh, those are nasty, nasty situations. Ooh, I'm sorry to hear that. Like, my heart is sinking just hearing about that. Um, and you're kind of like, this shit is awful. Um, you, I'm, what I'm feeling from you right now, whoever I'm connecting with on this, what I'm feeling from you right now is you're ready to cut everybody off. <laughs> you are ready to cut everyone off because of just how petty and vile is the word I'm hearing from you. Vile. Like the vultures have descended. I'm so sorry. And yeah, this, <laughs> sorry, I'm getting, I'm, I can be very passionate. I do have a Leo moon, but what's happening here is this for this person, or maybe it's a few people that I'm connecting with about this um, estate battle you are really, really being guided to energetically protect yourself because you are seen as the, um, the peaceful one. The one that's really trying to make everything happen for everyone's good, like to split everything up evenly so that everybody benefits, everyone gets what they need or what, they were, uh, what was um, allotted to them. And the other people around you are like not having it for some reason. They're super greedy. And this is not pentacles, this is wands, but, um, and wands usually speaks of, um, of spirituality. But in this case, the king of wands in reverse is absolutely um, talking about this narcissism that's going on. Um, and that's where, for these specific people that I'm talking to right now, they are, in some senses, like sending you energetic attacks to wear you down so that you cave. Don't cave. Protect yourself. All right? Protect yourself. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Now that I'm seeing, there was, there was a female figure, a matriarch of a family, that passed on and left an estate to either some person or a group of people. And I feel like the person or people that I'm connecting with right now are the ones that, that stand to get the most. Now that is a very specific situation, okay? I was picking up messages for business for some people, but that literally just came through here with this Five of Wands and the Ace of Swords. It came through very strongly. Whoever I was connecting with on that, I am praying for you, okay? I am, I'm feeling very concerned. Um, and so my heart goes out to you. Um, I am praying that God and the angels surround you with protection and, and throughout this situation. It's not gonna last forever. It's really not gonna, it seems like it may be lasting, like it may be an eternity that you've been going through this, but the Knight of Wands energy is saying this is not going to last for that much longer. It will fizzle out. Just protect yourself. Okay, finally for you, Capricorn, we have the Two of Wands with the Five of Cups. Okay, 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 okay. So again, this is speaking to um, whatever was illuminated, whatever Five of Wands energy was illuminated for you. Um, oh my God, we got the fight, we got the last five. We have all four, all fives, all five fives from the deck. Are, on, are in your spread right now, Capricorn. Five of Pentacles, Five of Wands. Wait, Five of Cups. Wait, what am I missing? Yes, Five of Swords. Number five in the Hierophant. Cha yeah, this is a very challenging month for you, Capricorn. 
Um, but you are having, you are being, in a sense, I'm being told forced to make a decision here with the two of wands in changing your path. And that's because of this heartbreak. Whatever was illuminated by the five of wands, um, whatever is making you feel lack or left out in the cold with the five of pentacles. And you're having to make a decision, but this really isn't all that bad because this decision that you're making is for spiritual purposes. Okay. You are, um, like I said, you're connected with yourself. You're connected with the, with the divine. And so because of whatever is represented here by the five of cups happened and you got the message, um, the divine spirit, your higher self are in the, either in the process of, or have presented you with a choice of a new path to take. Um, and so you're in the process of deciding what path that is. And you are taking your experience from whatever the Five of Cups represents for you um, very, very seriously. And you're putting it at the forefront of this decision of which path to take now, because it's you have no intentions of ever having to deal with any of that again. Um, and that's a very good thing. It means you've learned your lesson. And so that's great. That is... Great. But again, I really want to tell you guys, the sun is shining. Okay. So don't be afraid. Everything is coming out in the open. Everything is being illuminated. Everything is going to be okay. All right. But just, this is a challenging time. That's interesting. I just, wow. And it's so funny because when the five of wands came up, I was like, huh, what happens if we get all of the fives here? And what happened? <laughs> The five of cups came out. So now we have all the fives, all the fives, kids. Um, yep. All right, guys, there it is, Capricorn. Thank you so much for joining me. And I will see you for your next reading, um, which will be the second half of April. Yeah. Take care, guys. Much love. Bye-bye.